Hey guys, uh, so this training is less about the technical aspects. I mean, it will get heavily technical, but the reason it is so long is because of the soft skills aspect of it. Uh, and I've been told like, you know, my soft skills suck, but my soft skills don't suck. I just get fed up dealing with idiots uh, and then I lash out. But I have 20 years of experience, so I can do that now uh, at your level, probably not a good idea but still some tips so even in the best manager organization uh, which are extremely few people are going to come and ask you hey this is something that needs to be done immediately okay uh, and 99 percent of the organization this is kind of the norm so i would put these tasks that come to you in four categories one is critical and urgent so by critical i mean how many people is the end client getting affected like that's the main thing if the company's bottom line is getting affected that's a critical app okay if the developer deadlines are getting affected that's a critical task okay so if somebody comes to you and says this is critical as it needs to be done properly and it's done just say no okay guys got like basically you're gonna piss off whoever comes to you that you can't do this but if you say it's done deliver it and there are problems you're going to be in a lot more trouble than saying no to whoever is coming to you okay the next category is urgent but not critical and this is where this reality tv show is going to be critical but not urgent either critical not urgent uh, i guess you guys are smart enough to figure that out okay so whenever i build a solution i put it into two parts one is building the solution. Uh, sorry, my medication keeps making me burp. So I try to remember most of them, but some of them are going to just show up. So the solution part is plan and pseudocode. Uh, basically, just come up with a plan. What are you going to do? The next step is build the infrastructure, which is basically the physical uh, machines which in our case will be virtual then actual application code and basic monitoring and once this is set up then you deliver it to the client the next part is optimization this is where uh, you start doing the best you can like the application has been delivered to the client but that doesn't mean the task is done and if you leave it up there you're not going to grow so you're going to do your best no matter uh, who is expecting it like it should be your expectation to do the best job that you can always and we will go through this so by the way this came about uh, because I was actually building a test case for explaining the best way the most optimal way to configure VMs uh, and I was doing it in a hurry and this was something me doing, but it's going to happen a lot of times in your actual jobs. So I just left it as it is. Uh, and when you're working under this kind of pressure, you make mistakes and a lot of them. So this is really long, but like I said, this is reality TV. You can figure out installing WordPress on LAMP pretty easily, but under pressure, going through these things and solving them problem at real time. Uh, a lot of people that I've trained have told me this benefited them tremendously. Now, this is gonna make me look like an idiot, uh, but whatever. Okay, and the, some of the critical question, am I reinventing the wheel or can I, I can find a wheel and improvise? So I am basically shamelessly using Google as much as possible and copy pasting code okay this is something i do in real life i don't try to remember syntaxes that's not what your job is but you're gonna face that in interviews where people expect you to remember stuff but i'm just throwing it out there all right guys so see you in the training and there's a lot of rambling trust me get in the mindset of a reality tv and not a technical training all right guys thank you hopefully this helps